So what um, my passion for landscape architecture and what drives me to wake up every morning is really rooted in the arts. And here's a snapshot of, of, of just my landscape heroes. Um, they're landscape artists. They really work at the intersection of landscape and art. And these beautiful gestures in the landscape. I mean, Mylan's work. I mean, her doc, the documentary about the Vietnam Memorial. I mean, that's just like <laughs> right here. And her bravery and passion um, to just keep fighting and just even from this simple sketch. And so this was really what inspired me um, in my undergraduate work. And I kind of lost a little of that when I start practicing, right? Where, where you get into a firm and you start doing, um, you, you have a kind of pr prescribed program or prescribed kind of design aesthetic. And so for me, I kind of, this is how I stay focused in my practice. Um, and this is what inspires me. And so I try to kind of keep this um, artistic approach in, all, in everything I do. I said humanism, um, the role of what we do and how it impacts people has always been really essential to me. Um, when the Chicago River Walk opened, which I uh, led the designer for Sasaki, and it was a 10 year long project, my daughter and my mother came uh, to see the work with me, and I took my daughter to the Chicago Art Museum, and we stood in front of the Surratt, and I was holding her hand, and. I just started crying because the painting was so moving. And then at the same time, unbeknownst to me, the photographer for our project was out shooting the Riverwalk that morning and caught this mother and daughter walking on the Riverwalk. And he showed me the um, proof and I almost lost my mind. Uh, I said, uh, and, and it's still, every time I see this slide, it makes me feel the same way I felt at that moment, the sense that what we do is touch people, what we do is so essential, and it's so timeless, you know? You can look back through so many different kinds of eras and see the role of landscape architecture and the relationship to natural systems is foundational to culture. And um, it also just spoke to this also essential part of my life, which is being a mother and being a champion for other women. And so all of it sort of wrapped up in this uh, contrast and really speaks to this idea that what we do is ultimately for, for, for people. So my word was connections. I found the word passion as I contemplated it. I have many foundational passion passions, but one thing really kind of rose as a reoccurring message throughout uh, Dick's height and throughout my career. And it's the foundation of how everything is so tied together and that as landscape architects and urban designers, we can help foster those connections. Um, I have a love for the water and uh, find that the ocean is pretty much the barometer of the health of our planet and that everything we do as landscape architects really is tying back to, to that idea. Um, and then how you express that in connections to place and help everyone realize how connected we are to this planet through simple moves as the one on the upper right or more artistic moves um, like the one on the lower left and then connections to community through the people in the firm reaching out to community through who we are as people as individuals as families and then how we work with the community at large, um, locally and globally. Um, the image on the right is some, some work that I was um, fortunate to be involved in in, um, in Bali, uh, in the community of Bagnum. So pretty neat stuff. Um, but connection for me is, is the passion word, and it ties everything together. Creating spaces is my passion and what I love to bring to the firm. It, <coughs> to change. It's, it's about creating spaces where people enjoy it the way you imagined and use it. It's, it's part of the connections. You know, you make a, a meditation garden, it's for praying, and every time I see someone praying in the meditation garden, I am like, Oh, that's exactly what's supposed to happen. You create a park, and people use the park. They don't care if the furniture's matching. 
they're, you know, it, it, it's, it, they're using it, and they're using it the way you always envision. So you've created the connections for people to happen, um, and it's tying of, of nature and the built environment. So it's creating spaces is my passion word. And out of this, we wanted to ask the question, how does this passion that we've just expressed relate to our work in the office, well no, relate to our office culture? How have we taken our passion and made a difference? Is it reflected in our office culture? Can I, can I start? Because I want to build off the earlier conversation about this um, sense that we all make choices. Maybe sometimes the choices are made for us, but we find the most happiness and purpose in our work when we can bring our whole selves, right? That, 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 that was sort of a point, I think, that was being made that when you see, when you're part of an organization, you need to be able to both see yourself in the future and, and be able to project and forecast forward and be inspired by that self that you see, right? And, and for women, I think that's particularly hard sometimes because we don't have enough role models, we don't have enough in our traditional practices. So in, in a lot of ways, we have to kind of make and be the change that we wanna see or make that path that we see that we can't see in any other way. And so a big part of um, creating agency is we really want to be the kind of place where all people can thrive, but that's built on uh, the premise that women can thrive and, and be successful as a as practice and that that's gonna look fundamentally different than what we've seen before uh, and what we've seen in other businesses. So I would say that. Um, and I'll build on that a little bit. So I think one of the things that has grown out of my passion is, is the growth of the firm. You know, seeing people within the firm shine, um, do great work, um, become leaders, uh, striving and, and growing as leaders. And it's always challenging, quite frankly. You know, it's not easy. My team can probably stand up, stand up and say, it's a, it's a, it's a, constant, uh, a constant challenge. Um, but, but to lead, to, to be inspired, you know, by the people around you, and by your clients, and by your colleagues, and by sessions like this, um, and and to stay inspired, and then to be inspiring, to come into the office every day, and you know, with with that fire, um, I think as as a leader, male, female, <laughs> you know, that really I think is 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 key.